大家好，欢迎收看今天的成长汉语。Welcome to today's episode of Growing Up with Chinese. 今天星期几 ？Yes, I just asked you what day of the week it is. Although I bet your answers are all different because depending on where you live in the world, it could be yesterday, today, or tomorrow. So a better question would be, 现在几点 ？What time is it? And of course, it's time for us to begin. Now today's content is quite relaxing because it falls under the topic of leisure time, and it's so nice when you have time to do things that you might not normally get to do, like read a book, play a video game, sleep in, or whatever else might relax you. Now today, Xiao Ming and Mike are looking at a nice chunk of leisure time, but what will they do with it? Let's check it out. Mom，麦克怎么还睡呢？该起床了。你别吵，今天周末了，让他多睡一会儿吧。啊，还睡？您看，都快十点了，他还有时差呢。你先吃早饭吧，好吧？好吧。妈，我下楼打会儿球。你去吧，我早点回来。嗯、hmm, ，Mike never appeared today, and Xiaoming looked a little antsy. Well, I guess the two of them just have different preferences for what they do during their free time. Let's take a look at today's dialogue, shall we? And see exactly what's going on. Mike 怎么还睡呢 ？How is Mike still sleeping? Or Mike still sleeping? The key to this sentence is in the 怎么 and 还 We'll expand on these two in just a few minutes. Now the second part of Xiaoming's exclamation is 很晚了，该起床了 It's very late. He ought to be up. Xiaoming, 起床了。妈 ，Mike 怎么还睡呢？该起床了。And Xiaoming's mom replies by saying, "Let him sleep a little bit longer." Notice the ba here at the end of the sentence. Let him sleep a little bit longer. Notice the ba here at the end of the sentence. She's suggesting they let Mike sleep a little bit longer. He has a time difference. He's still jet lagged. Time difference is the term for jet lag or time difference. If someone has time difference or has time difference. It's referring to jet lag. Shh! Don't argue. Today is Friday. Let him sleep a little bit longer. Ah, still sleeping? Look, it's almost 10:00. He has a time difference. You first eat dinner. Okay. Okay. 妈，我下楼打会儿球。你去吧，我早点回来。Hmm. Okay, it's time to check out today's vocabulary. As always, let's first check out our specific vocabulary words. 怎么 Used to inquire about nature, condition, cause, etc. 
怎么？该 ，ought to, should, 该。还 ，still, yet, nevertheless, 还。让 ，let, 让。别 ，don't, do not, 别。起床 get up specifically with regards to bed. 起床睡睡觉 sleep to sleep. 睡睡觉周末 weekend. 周末时差 time difference. 时差。早饭 ，breakfast。早饭。All right, everyone. Today's radical is a great one, and we can see it in the character 睡 sleep or to sleep. So first, let's get 睡 up on our screen, and then we'll break it down. That's its radical. All right, so there we have our character 睡 All right, let's take a look at the radical. It's right here. That is the character for 目 and it means eyes. So let's draw an eye, shall we? We've got an eye here. Give it some eyelashes. It kind of looks like an eye, doesn't it? Okay, well it means eye. Now the right side of the character. This component here is the character 吹 and just so you know, 吹 means droop or let fall. So when you put an eye with droop, you've got drooping eyes or falling eyes, right? So we get the character for sleep, 睡 And just to point it out, notice that the final for both 睡 and 吹 is the same. It's the u i final. Okay, so this is an example of a character that has a hint to its pronunciation and its component, and it takes its meaning from its radical or the mu zi pang. Now, the i radical is oftentimes used in characters that have something to do with the eyes or seeing, like kan to watch or to see, mei. This means eyebrow. Ding. This means to stare at. Cool, no? Time for a break. Last time we covered the Chinese agricultural calendar and some of the holidays that are associated with it. Now, continuing on that train of thought, we thought it would be fun to talk about some more special days that appear in the agricultural calendar. The beginning of spring is one. In Chinese, it's called Li Chun, and the agricultural calendar's beginning of spring is different from the Gregorian calendar's first day of spring. Li Chun typically occurs in January or February. Now, there's a special food that should be eaten on the day of Li Chun, and that is the spring pancake or Chun Bing. It's kind of like a mushu wrapper. If any of you have ever had them in a Chinese restaurant, basically you have a very, very thin pancake like a crepe, and you fill it with all kinds of fresh vegetable dishes. Roll it up and eat away. The tradition of eating chun bing on Li Chun is also called yao chun, which literally means to bite spring. You're consuming spring's first crop of fresh vegetables, so it's like you're eating spring, but In the form of a pancake. Holidays really are fun, aren't they? In any culture. Okay, before we end for the day, let's take a look at some of today's language points, and we'll start with talking about 怎么 in today's context. 怎么 can be used in Chinese to ask for a reason or reasons, kind of like why. 怎么还睡 Another example of the use of 怎么 is 你怎么不说话？说话 is to speak, 
So this phrase is asking, why don't you speak? Why aren't you saying anything? Hi. This pops up a few times in today's dialogue. It has a couple meanings, so let's look at them one by one. 怎么还睡 In this context, "hi" is used to create a rhetorical question. It represents it should be this way, but it's not. Xiao Ming thinks Mike should be awake, but clearly he's still asleep. "怎么还睡 The other way we see "hi" used in today's dialogue is in this phrase. 他还有时差 He still has jet lag. He is still jet lagged. So "hi" in this context represents a state or action that isn't changing. In other words, still. He still has jet lag. He still has jet lag. Let's take a look at some examples. Wait, is Xiao Ming? It's already nine o'clock. Why aren't you coming? Ah, Lanlan, sorry, sorry, I'm late. Xiao Ming, I've taught you so many times. Why aren't you singing? 你别着急嘛。Okay, back to the second part of Xiao Ming's first sentence. 很晚了，该起床了。很晚了 ，It's late. 该起床了 ，He should get up. The pattern 该 dot 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 了 implies the time for something has arrived. It has arrived, so 了 needs to be present to make the pattern work. 该起床了 The time to get out of bed has arrived, or Mike should get up. 你该睡了 You should go to sleep. It's time for you to sleep. 我该走了 I should leave, or the time for me to leave has arrived. Let's check out some examples. 小明，你该吃药了。<coughs> 好的，谢谢。老师还没来，该上课了。是啊，都八点十分了。让 ，in today's context， 让 is used like the English word let。让他多睡一会儿吧。Let him sleep a little bit longer。The pattern looks like this。让 let plus someone plus do something。So。让他多睡一会儿。Remember our discussion about how adding r to certain things makes them smaller. 兰兰，这道题太难了，我不会做，你会吗？嗯，稍等，让我再想想。All right, everyone, we're almost done for the day. Now I have a letter here from Josh in the United States that I want to share with all of you before we go. Could you talk some more about specific Chinese dishes? Well, Josh, actually, if I were to talk about specific Chinese dishes, it would take me a year probably to go through all of them. The way food works in China is depending on the region.、Um, there are different kinds of food. So, for example, you have Sichuan、uh, cuisine that I think is mostly predominantly very spicy.、Uh, then take Guangzhou, for example. Guangzhou cuisine is more. Mild tends to be a little sweeter.、Um, there's lots of dim sum and little delicacies like that. Then you go to Shanghai. You have Shanghai cuisine. You have Beijing cuisine. You have Hunan cuisine. There are all kinds of cuisines, and they're all very different and very delicious. So if you do get the chance to come to China, you can travel around and eat your way around China. Okay, that's all we have time for for today. I hope all of you had fun. 我该走了 I should get going. And you all should too. Now, don't forget to go online to our website to review today's materials if you're confused about anything, and keep your letters coming. 大家加油，下次见。See you next time.